What's up, Mortgage Coach Community? Dave Savage coming live with Todd Bookspan. What's up, my brother? Hey, not much. It's it's great to be here outside of our normally scheduled times that we get here in the community. It, it is. I, I have been looking forward to this for a couple of weeks. You know, when you and I were huddling up between Christmas and um, New Year's, you were telling me how you really wanted to focus on new loan officers in 2022, which I couldn't agree more with. I, I put it as one of the mega trends when I did the top 10 videos of 2021. Uh, you know, I had what are the three top trends affecting the industry right now? You know, number one, technology. Number two, leadership and teams. And number three is we're seeing an explosion of new loan officers into the business. So, so Todd, why don't you? You know, come. I, I've got my data that I've seen and my thesis on why helping new loan officers is such a big opportunity. But you know, you're 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 putting a lot of business resources around it at Win by Noon. Uh, why don't you share some of your thoughts on you know why is this such a big opportunity? Well, you know, I think it's a big opportunity because we saw that the industry grew by forty percent last year. So that's a that's a huge number. And, you know, we already know that a lot of those loan officers are unfortunately already getting out of the business. And, you know, I think it's the world's greatest career. And I want to see all of you who got in this business in the last year or two or whenever it was really succeed. And so the interesting part is I, although I know this is a new loan officer playbook, what I'm finding is when I'm talking to producers, even producers doing hundred or even two, more than 200 loans a year, um, they're all looking to get back to the basics and they're, they're actually approaching 2022 um, through the eyes of a new loan officer. And they're all looking to see what can they do as this market shifts from a refinance market back to a purchase market in such a tight inventory market in a high, you know, higher rate market. They're looking for opportunities to grow as well. And so I do think that there's no doubt this is a requirement for new loan officers. But if I'm an experienced loan officer, I'm going to I would take note as well. We, you know, we, you and I interviewed uh, Wally Ellie Bieri. He just crushed it with $200 million dollars last year. And he made the comment when we interviewed him a few weeks ago that he realized 17 years into the business that he was repeating his first year over 17 times before he finally made some changes. And I think that some of the changes that you may need to make who are watching this will be the things that you and I are going to discuss today, Dave. Yeah, no, I, I couldn't agree more with what you said. And it's one of the reasons why I do so many interviews and I create so much content on YouTube and in our, um, in our Facebook group. Uh, anyone listening to this, it's always Mastermind Style. It is live in our Facebook group. So if you have live questions, Todd or I will try to get to those live in the conversation. If you're watching this in our YouTube channel and you have a question, put it in comments. Uh, if you are a new loan officer, one of the first things you need to do is make sure you subscribe to the Mortgage Coach YouTube channel so that you get alerts when new content comes in. You need to replace some of your Netflix time with Mortgage Coach YouTube time. And you need to be active in our group. So check that out, guys. So, so Todd, let, I, before I totally get into the tactics and strategies that you have, I do want to frame it because I think a lot of new loan officers are going to um, watch this and they're like, "Who, who's Todd Bookspan? Uh, I'm going to say a couple things on who Todd Bookspan is, but then if you could just make sure for any loan officers watching it, they're like, okay, this is why I should listen to the dude. Um, so who Todd Bookspan is to me, he's one of Ameri he was one of America's most successful loan officers. Um, I don't know too many um, leaders that consistently ran a team that did over 500 loans a year. Uh, in a minute, you can share how many years you, the team you built did that. But he's also just built systems. So he's gone from a new loan officer to a top producer really quick. And then guys, he, he, you know, people that want to go from 200 loans to 300 or 300 to 400 or 500, they call Todd, like he does an incredible job. And then the other thing I'll say before I have Todd answer it, he built one by noon. And, and, and this is something that I was passionate about even before Bill Hart had his win by noon thesis and you had your win by noon thesis. I always felt like if I stacked the deck so that by noon, and for really, for me, it was by 11, I had got my prospecting time in. I had stacked my deck so that I called my best prospects first, meaning people that were most likely to be a good lead, who had good energy. I started calling them first, and I won by noon. I would win. And, and so, you know, as Mr. Win by Noon, guys, anyone listening to this, 
Make sure you, you follow Todd at Win by Noon. Make sure you're active in his Facebook group. And that's why you should listen to Todd Bookspan. He, he wins by noon. He leads a great community of win by nooners. Todd, if you could just give a minute for any new loan officers listening, why, why should they tune into you? Well, I think you did a, I appreciate your kind words. I think you did a, you know, great job of elevating it. And, you know, for me, really just my passion to help people reach their potential, whatever they believe it to be. And I know, um, I already said it, this is the world's greatest career. Um, you just have to figure out how to be successful in this career. And, and, you know, we all know success leaves clues. And, you know, you mentioned the Mortgage Coach YouTube channel. I mean, you and I have been recording videos in here together for over five years, and you've been doing interviews for over a decade. And there's just so much knowledge that's out there. And I'm just passionate about helping people figure out which things they need to learn, where they need to focus, um, and then how to be effective and efficient with their time. You mentioned Bill Hart, and he had uh, talked about a thing called um, Parkinson's Law, which is that, um, you know, activities expand to fill the time available. And, and I think what happens is, as a loan officer, um, Todd Duncan had a quote that 94% of loan officers show up to the office with no plan, and therefore 91% have inconsistent month-over-month -month business. And so that's sort of what talks to this idea of Parkinson's Law and why you should win by noon is because if you give yourself three or four hours to get what you need to get done done, guess what? Parkinson's Law proves you will get it done in three to four hours. If you give yourself all day to get it done, guess what? You'll take all day to get it done. So why not get what you know you need to get done completed in a shorter period of time? And that's really been my premise. And as, as, the, as I took that on myself, and it kind of had the light bulb go off and started teaching it to other loan officers and real estate agents, it's just you know caught fire and really become this mantra to make sure that you do your most important activities first by being proactive. And then that gives you the rest of the day to be reactive or do whatever the heck you want. You know, you said something just now that I've heard countless times, but it also reminded me why you are such a perfect mentor and leader for new loan officers. When you heard him say his mission, you know, to help people achieve their potential, whatever they believe their potential to be, you know, not everybody who gets in the mortgage business wants to be a 500 a year loan officer. Not everybody, you know, everybody, you have your potential, you have what you believe it to be. Um, and it's, and he's there to help you do it. Where I do think a lot of leaders in the industry, it is this, you know, how to do X. Todd's gonna help you customize what you do, what you believe you can do, achieve that plan. And I do think for your first two to three years in the business, that's a really healthy framework. Um, you know, get clear on what you want to achieve and then win by noon. So Todd, let's, let's unpack your playbook. You know, while we do, guys, anyone listen to this, um, Todd and I last year, actually, I wrote it. I, I got to, I'm going to add you and you and I are going to co-author it. So there is a um, playbook that I wrote last year, but you know, I'm going to actually update it after this call to where it's a, it's an online playbook by Todd and Dave. So stay tuned. Uh, the one I might show at some time in the conversation was the 2021 Mortgage Coach slash Dave Savage playbook. Um, of course, there were a lot of leaders in that playbook. So it wasn't like they were my ideas. I interviewed Dave Gallegos. I interviewed Casey Cunningham. I've interviewed Todd Duncan. I've interviewed some of the most successful new loan officers and some of the best coaches and trainers. So their ideas are in that, but we're going to we're going to revise it a revised version by Dave and Todd. I'll put a link down below. So just a minute, guys, anyone listen to this, I'll put a link so you get it live and we'll update it. So Todd, um, well, let's just start it. Like what's your playbook and what's step one? Perfect. Well, and let me, let me throw one thing out there. So I sat down um, in my quiet morning time and I said, okay, let me really think more about how do I want to articulate this? And, it, and what I love was I wrote down what I thought were all the steps and ideas that I had and then I, at the end said, wait, I got to, let me go read Dave's article and see what he wrote. And afterwards I realized that what I had just written out was pretty much in alignment with your four ideas in the article that you had written before. So, you know, it's that whole idea of what's old is new again. The only difference is, is that I start off with a frame um, that you have to work a schedule, right? And so if I was teaching you all live in front of a, a room, I would say to you, hey, you got in this business to set your own schedule. And that is the exact reason that you may fail. And um, I see this all the time because, you know, I never worked at Starbucks or anything like that, but I would ask someone in the room who here worked a job at McDonald's or Starbucks or whatever that was. And when you have a job, you have to show up at a certain time and they give you certain activities to do. Um, and then at the end of the day, you're done and you go and you might have a couple breaks along the way. And what I see with loan officers, just as Todd Duncan said, is almost all of them show up with no plan for the day. And so I want you first and foremost 
is you have to have a schedule, right? You got to create what I call your ideal week. But during this first 90 days that you're going to be training, you need to schedule your time to do all these activities, literally schedule it. You're going to say, okay, great. I'm going to take you know, 30 to 60 minutes for each of these activities and then schedule a small break, a five or 10 minute break, um, but knock it all out, especially the things that take brain power in the morning. Most of you have most energy in the day. Um, and so that's where I start. I think that you've got to make sure that you create a schedule for you so that you're successful. So that's kind of premise number one that, that goes over all of it. And then you could really put the rest of these in any order, right, Dave? I think that's, you know, my, when I look at your list, yeah, you got to kind of start off with the whole idea of who do you know and build your database. Um, but, but you could really put in any order. So I want, I want to also give folks another reason to do what Todd said. When you become a new loan officer, your biggest disadvantage is your lack of confidence. You know, you, you don't, well, it's lack of knowledge and it's lack of confidence. And the other case I'd make for what Todd just said is no better way to build your confidence than have micro wins, you know, little micro wins. And, and, and let's make those micro wins where you made a plan and you won by noon. And, and you, you have like Dave DeLagos and a lot of top leaders and mentors, you know, they'll have a 90 day plan. And the more that you complete those micro wins, so not even, you know, of course, winning the day, you win the day, you win the week, you win the week, you win the month, you win every month, you win the year, but like win by noon, you know, like just, if you just focused on micro wins by noon, you're going to get more confident. And when you're a new loan officer, that is what makes you attractive. That's what makes the job fun. That's what makes people want to do business with you is getting confidence. So there's a case to be made that while this is just a good way to go about the job. This is the fastest path to confidence. Um, so anyways, keep going. I love that. What's next? I love that. Well, you know, I, I should probably throw in there. I'm getting enough on a tangent, but you also may have to ignore the other loan officers in your office who aren't that successful and, and don't do what they're doing. Um, it's really interesting. I recently launched, uh, relaunched my operating system 2.0 group coaching program. And I was sort of surprised that I've got about um, a little over a, a, about a third are brand new loan officers. A little over a third are doing about two to four loans a month. And then about uh, 20, over 25%, just over that 26, 27% are actually seasoned loan officers. In fact, there's um, a lot of people in there doing 100 to 200 loans. I got a $100 million producer in there. And what that reminded me was, you know, kind of what I said earlier is that even the best people right now are trying to look and see, well, what is it that I can learn just to improve myself by 1% this week to be better? And so um, just remember who you're looking at and determine what their level of success is before you start following them. I know that uh, may sound bad, but um, I found for me when I got in my first mortgage office that not everyone was doing the right things. And, um, and I initially developed their habits before I was lucky enough to develop my own. Um, and so one, I, one more footnote before you go, Todd, because also, well, definitely don't follow the habits of unsuccessful loan officers. And that's why I have a standard with who I interview on this channel, you know, people that have achieved, you know, they're consistently closing 10 or more loans a month. And, and so, you know, are there some good loan officers out there that don't consistently close to Yeah, but, but that is a standard because I know that, you know, if you're doing that, you're a certain level of success. But guys, by the way, there's some very successful loan officers out there that either have some bad habits or they're not optimizing their business. So also remember that, like you may find someone that's close to two, 300. They're awesome. There's things they can do to improve. So as you tune into our channel, as you learn from Todd, optimize. Like there's no better time to form healthy habits like a total cost analysis for every consumer than when you're a new loan officer. So, you know, follow your mentor, but if they aren't optimizing, they're not using mortgage coach, they're not using win by noon, you know, they're not using the tools of success that you're learning about. Um, do it anyways. Anyways, keep going, bro. All right. So I would say, let's start off with a learning plan, right? You've got to have a plan to study. And so, so think about this for a minute, and it kind of depends on what seat you're sitting in. So you mentioned Casey Cunningham, you know, Zenix is a great opportunity for somebody to learn from a proven system, but not everyone has the money for that. Not every company is going to offer that. So first and foremost, you're going to want to look at what are the resources in the company that I'm at? What are the free things I can jump in and I can study? And this is going to be in your calendar, starting off a minimum of 60 minutes a day. You probably could argue that it could be two to three hours a day, but let's just start off with at least a minimum of one 60 minute block. Um, other areas, we already mentioned it, the, the, the Mortgage Coach YouTube channel. I mean, Dave has done a great job of helping you go in there, 
tactically and quickly to look at the new loan officer playlist. There's the annual mortgage review playlist. There's script to Palooza. There's all sorts of different things you can look at in there. And you can figure out if you actually look at all those videos, most of them ironically are an hour long. And you can go in there and then literally schedule schedule those out. I would just pull out a piece of paper and write out a list of all the videos that are intriguing to you. I would look in your company intranet and see what, what do they have that are resources that you can learn? What classes should you get? Yeah, you've got to get great at doing a 1003. You got to do great at asking those type, types of questions. You've got to learn load and guidelines. There's other things you do. Dave talked about it because you need those things to have the confidence to have a conversation, right? And then I would also um, teach you my magic script for new loan officers, which is, you know what? That's a great question. Um, let me let me make sure I don't answer it wrong. Um, let me get back to you on that. Or, hey, that's a great question. Um, I think they recently changed the guidelines on that. Let me just clarify it um, before I give you the wrong answer. Don't be afraid to tell somebody that because oftentimes new loan officers want to make something up and that'll get you down the, that'll get you on the wrong path with a realtor or a client um, super fast. Remember, ask questions. If you're live watching this, I'd love to hear your comments and feedback. We've got a nice little, even though we didn't announce this or schedule it, we got a good following on Facebook. Thank you for any of you Facebook viewers live. Let us know what you like about this conversation. Let us know what questions you have. Um, so what's next, Todd? Um, take action, right? So, you know, at the end of every mortgage coach call, you said, hey, Todd, as a coach, you know, what do you say? And I always say, hey, you just invested time. Now it's time to take action. So um, I mentioned it earlier, you got to build a database. So Dave Galegos, I love the fact that if you're going to go to work for him in his new training program, you have to come with 150 names of people in your database. And I, people look at me like, well, how would I come up with 150 people? So, you know, you've got this little thing here called a phone. And so you're going to pull that out and you're going to look at all your people in your phone. Um, you're going to go to Facebook and you're going to click on your friends button and see who are all your friends there. Um, and you're going to, you're going to create a database and um, people are like, well, do I have to have a CRM? What's the best CRM? We know that is the number one question that's been asked in the mortgage coach community. I learned from Dave Savage long ago, the best CRM is the one you use. Um, I would say if your company doesn't have a free CRM that you can jump in on, because my goal for you as a new loan officer is not to spend money, not to complicate things, get an Excel spreadsheet, name, last name, first name, last name, email address, phone number, um, spouse's name, if you have it, kids' names, if you have it, hobbies, if you have it, dog's name, if you have it, the more that you know about that person, the better, and uh, start building your, your database that way. Because ultimately, in the end, that's going to lead to the, the action steps, which I think is important, which is picking up the phone and actually getting face to face with people. And you'll see, you know, you can wait 30 days to do it. You could start that today, you know, picking up the phone. It's going to all come back to that word that Dave used of confidence, you feeling comfortable um, picking up the phone. And I would say that there's three scripts that you're going to need when you um, pick up the phone. Um, one is, um, hey, I know you have a mortgage. Um, I'm working on, oh, you know, I forgot something, Dave. So real quick, part of your knowledge is going to be to learn how to do TCAs, right? So I, I probably should put a pin in that one before I get my three scripts. But um, what's your route for getting people up and running on TCAs? So, so two things before I do that. So while Dave Gallegos, before you have your first day at work, you have to have 150 contacts. And, and in the first 30 days, in addition to just getting smart and learning, you have to have another 150. So now that's a very high standard. I've interviewed a lot of mentors of new loan officers, and that's the highest standard I've ever heard. I've heard a, most, you know, it's 100 to 150, but I like his standards and I also like his success rate. So I am going to push you guys that by the end of that 90 days, you have 300 people in whatever CRM you use. And if you're not using a CRM, you are not taking the fastest path to success. So um, I think in Dave's um, model and what's on our, our, our LinkedIn page, you don't start using Mortgage Coach for 30 days, but at 30 days, just go to mortgagecoach.com, sign up. It'll be, the, if you're, you know, your company doesn't have an enterprise relationship, it'll be $120 a month. You know, you can turn it on, turn it off. Um, but if your company does have mortgage coach, you know, it varies whether they pay for it or whether they subsidize it, but get mortgage coach turned on, uh, do start watching videos on our YouTube channel. So that's simple. YouTube subscribe, Facebook, go to our group, mortgage coach, productivity, invite yourself and then mortgagecoach.com sign up. And, and we've got online training. We've got live chat. We even have call support where, you know, we'll, we'll call you or you can call us. So all of that's on our website. Check it out. Yeah. And I bought Mortgage Coach literally on my first day of the business over 22 years ago. Just by luck, they said, hey, we're going to this seminar today. 
And I hadn't closed a loan, had never talked to a client, and I, I bought mortgage coach and it changed the trajectory of my, my career because I was able to differentiate myself as a non-confident new loan officer. It gave me confidence that I could present numbers to people in a way that other people weren't. And it was really a huge, uh, a huge uh, competitive advantage for me. Um, one of the words that you use with Dave Gallegos was it's a standard they have. So I'm really big about setting standards. And so I think, you know, as you look at these things, think about it. Hey, what's my standard for learning? What's my standard for the time I'm going to take action? Um, and so as I'm building my database and I start to call people, um, you're calling really for three things. You're calling um, people who own houses um, and you're going to be uh, having two different conversations with them at two different times. And so if I'm calling my brother, I would be saying, hey, do you have time for a business conversation? I'm saying that because I want to kind of let him know this isn't me calling to talk to him about football or talk to him about, you know, some event that we have coming up. It's a business conversation. I'm saying, hey, I know that you own a home and I'm really trying to get good at um, doing this thing called the total cost analysis and helping clients with annual mortgage reviews. Would you mind helping me? And again, he's my brother. I'm hoping he's going to say yes. If it's a friend, they're probably going to say yes. You're asking for help. Awesome. Would you send me a mortgage statement so I can do a total cost analysis and um, do an annual mortgage review for you so that I can practice? Um, and that's what you're going to start off with practicing. And unfortunately, we're in a rising rate market. So you're not really going to be saving a lot of people money. They're going to go, oh, I already have a two and a half percent rate. Great. No worries. I still want to do it. Um, and then you'll create a TCA. You can use some of the tools that are in the mortgage coach channel to do that. Um, if they own a house too, the next call can be, hey, I got another business call for you. Awesome. Hey, um, when you bought your house, did you use a realtor? And they're going to say, most likely, yes. Awesome. Hey, did you like them? And they're most likely going to say, yes. Hey, would you mind introducing me? Because again, you all want to meet new real estate agents. What's the easiest way to do it? It's to get a referral to them from someone that you know. Um, and, then, um, and then the third thing is, is some of them are renters. And then Back then, they didn't have a rent versus own analysis when I got into the business on Mortgage Coach, but now they do. And so that's just a great opportunity to call anyone you know that's a renter and say, hey, I want to get really good at this rent versus own analysis. Would you mind helping me with that? And my guess is they'll all say yes. And this is how you're going to flex that muscle. You're going to get more reps doing these things than most loan officers do in a year. You're going to get done in the first couple of months. So, so guys, you know, this is the new loan officer playbook. You know, there's a link down below. It's in LinkedIn under Dave Savage in my article section. And, you know, a lot of what Todd and I are saying is right here. Uh, you know, it's even got Todd's advice, you know, in this, in this platform. Uh, I do want to show, you know, you know, everything he said is right here. We're going to edit it, post this call just to make it. So it's, it's Todd and I, you know, step three at 30 days, you know, start your journey as being a mortgage coach, black belt, um, you know, at 30 days, um, actually Todd and I both agree it should be between 30 and 60 days, but I want you to see there are scripts guys, you know, pretty much what Todd said, here's your script for calling all your friends that are renters. And here's your script for calling all your friends that are homeowners. And, and so, you know, just wanted to call that out. We've got this step-by-step -step platform of what to do and how to do. do well, I love me. that. Yeah, and I think the other thing that I would put on there as in your schedule is put in time to shadow people in your office who are successful. And again, the same thing that you're going to ask friends, hey, would you mind helping me? You know, there's no reason that you cannot um, ask the manager in your office, ask a successful loan officer in your office to sit there. And so um, when I brought my brother-in-law into the business, you know, we got out the cell phone, I sat it on the desk on speakerphone, and I made calls with him sitting there listening to me. You could even do it on Zoom, right? You can actually open up Zoom and that you could be muted, but they can have their phone on speakerphone and you can hear the conversation that they're having with a client if you're, if you're all working remote still. But listen to their scripts, listen to how they say things. Um, take notes, write it down. But I find that shadowing people in those conversations is how you're gonna get better at those conversations. We certainly have three years of Scriptapalooza in the Mortgage Coach channel, which has the best scripts, but there's nothing more... Uh, no quicker way to learn than to sit there and listen to someone who's really good at it. And then hopefully afterwards, they'll give you time between each call and say, hey, do you have any questions? And you can say, hey, well, why did you say this? Or, you know, tell me about that. It's a great opportunity. And then the other thing is, again, we're not, I'm not going to dive into the realtor part now and then how I would deal with the realtors when you get the referral from your, you know, your friends and family. Um, just like I'm not going to um, dive in now into the realtor meeting. But again, you can 
find a loan officer in your office who's prospecting real estate agents, financial planners, CPAs, whatever it is, and say, hey, do you mind bringing me to that meeting? Um, and I have brought countless loan officers to meetings with me with new agents where I said, hey, here's Brad. He's a brand new loan officer. He's just going to sit and observe. Are you OK with that? And no one ever said no. Um, same thing with client meetings. There's just a great opportunity to shadow. So take advantage. You joined the company you joined. You got recruited by the person who recruited you because you thought that they were great. Well, let them show you they're great. Drag them along. So if you're a leader, then I would encourage you to look for that new loan officer and say, hey, do you want to shadow me? Hey, I'm going to this meeting. Would it be helpful? Hey, um, here's what I'm doing. Um, you know, come along for a ride along. And so I think that that's one other um, thing that I would throw out there. Um, any thoughts on that, Dave, before I kind of go into my my closing ideas? Yeah, no, do closing ideas in the, um, and I'll show it when we close, there's a resource section at the bottom of the playbook where it's got a link for Todd to, you know, get a win by noon planner. It's got a link to our scripts playlist. So we've got a scripts playlist and, and within that scripts playlist, all the script of Palooza calls are, um, there's another um, uh, call we did called what's your rate. You know, one of the most common things you're going to get as a new loan officer is people saying, what's your rate? Well, We've got an interview that it, there's, a, there's a case to be made that before you start making calls, you listen to what's your rate um, call before that. And you literally listen to it weekly, taking notes and implementing it because that's one of the biggest challenges new loan officers have is family goes, well, great, what's your rate? Well, here how a pro handles that. So um, actually, I think I'm going to add that to a resource. So we give people a breadcrumb right to what's your rate playlist. Uh, check that out, guys. So yeah. let's go, Todd. What else yeah. you got? That's pure gold. That's pure gold. You know, I think the last thing I'd be silly if I didn't address it was social media, right? So, you know, you and I are fortunate that we've got um, Deborah Bird, who's co-hosts so many calls with us from plugandplaysm.com. And I would encourage you um, to follow her. You're going to get the best social media information you're going to get. But it's this whole idea that you should be documenting your journey, right? So Gary V, he says, you know, jab, 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 right hook. So he says, um, document, don't create. He says, give, 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 and then ask for the business. But ultimately, if you're just documenting what you're doing, so as you're doing a rent to own for a renter, as you're doing an annual mortgage review, um, as you're doing these things, create content around that, telling that story, because that's how you're going to start showing your friends, your Facebook community, your Instagram followers, whatever social platform you're on, you know, who you are. And you know, just don't go out and do all the same boring stuff that you see other loan officers do. Like today, they raise the conforming loan limit, right? That's that's not what they want to hear. You want they want to hear that how that impacts them, right? What it does. And so there's lots of great people you'll see in the community. Follow them, see what they're doing, and you know, swipe and adapt. Um, create your own version, own it for you, and and put out that that content that you feel will show people that you are on this journey, that you're going to be their future loan officer of choice. Um, in fact, hopefully their loan officer of choice now. And I think if you actually, you know, have a schedule, you do the things that we've talked about here today in this article, you commit to getting it done by noon. Yes, there will be some days it might take you till two or three. That's okay. The bottom line is, is you're going to get the most important things done first before you get sucked off into the vortex of social media or before you get sucked off into the conversation in the lunchroom about the football games. Um, stay focused. And I know that you'll crush it. I know that this is the business of all businesses to be in. There's so many people who you can uh, be of benefit to. Um, and there's tons of other ideas that you'll hear Dave and I talk about throughout the years um, in the mortgage coach community. But uh, I hope this is a great start for us today. All right, guys. So I want to close out, just make sure everybody sees this resource um, at the top of the list. It's the Win by Noon Planner, guys. You know, this is a must have for every new loan officer because uh, you got to have a plan. And you also got to track your results. The best loan officers in America are fanatical about tracking every lead with their conversion, where it came from. You got to do a TCA a day. So I've, I already told you our playlist. We've got a real world scripts playlist. Uh, and then we just added it. Watch the What's Your Rate Mastermind every single week for the first 90 days. Because you know what? You're going to, you know, muscle memory. You're going to hear it. And then, by the way, you're going to have some experience. You're going to hear it and you're going to go try it. So literally watch Todd, by the way, do you agree with that? Like if you were new, your first 90 days, if you watch this same video, uh, you know, every week for 90 days, you'd be a ninja. Absolutely. Because we know it's the number one question you're going to get asked. And if you 
if you're nervous about it, if you don't have the confidence, that word that you used earlier, Dave, then they're going to, they're going to smell it through the phone, right? They, they can tell on the other end when you doubt yourself. And so if you can own those scripts, because you're going to get that question on every call, probably the first question you're going to get. And so there's no doubt if you can become uh, obsessed with that and become a ninja at that script, you are going to be a whole lot better off and more confident going forward. Right on. Make sure you're part of the Mortgage Coach Productivity Mastermind. I've I've got to add the win by noon. Wow. I don't know if you guys heard that, but uh, we've got to add, you know, become a member of the win by noon group as well. Uh, we've got self-paced training for Mortgage Coach. Make sure you download the Rate Watch app so that you know what rates are doing. You're becoming an expert at that. You're watching the Dan Rawich morning update. So for like three to five minutes every day, Dan Rawich, uh, you know, be part of the Modern Mortgage Summit. Uh, do the TCA adult day challenge. So by, you know, day 45, you should be doing a TCA every day. Because remember, you can call all your renters and say, let me practice my rent versus own on you. You can call all of your homeowner friends. Let me practice my um, move up analysis. Uh, Make sure you put going to Rene Rodriguez's Amplify on the bucket list. Make sure that you follow Todd Duncan's group, uh, put Sales Mastery on the bucket list. Um, Zenix and Casey Cunningham, a massive resource. I even put her video built into this, another playbook. Mortgage currency is just, it's, it's um, guidelines. You know, you wanna be an expert on guidelines, make sure you um, tune in to Mortgage Currency. There's a free Facebook group called the uh, Mortgage Hive Facebook group, just for new loan officers. Uh, put it on your bucket list to become a certified liability advisor. Uh, be part of Dan Rawich's mentor program. And then guys, this is my book list. You know, these are the, the 13 books that I think every new loan officer should read. Um, I definitely think The Four Agreements is the most important book for new salespeople. We'll cover that in a different conversation. It's just emotional IQ. Uh, you know, one of the biggest things that happens as a new loan officer is that there's two kinds of loans, loans with problems and loans with solved problems. And so you're, you know, you're working hard, going through all the rejection to get a loan and then you get a loan and it's got lots of problems. That's what we do. We solve problems in the mortgage business. So um, having a good emotional IQ so that you don't, you don't take things personally. Uh, you know, that's one of the four agreements, guys. Uh, you don't make assumptions. That's one of the four agreements. You know, always get clarity around things. Uh, I'm going to just leave it at that on the four, uh, four agreements. Todd, anybody that wants to be held accountable by you, I know you have a coaching program. I don't know if it's, um, you know, like you have to sign up by a date or if it's just whenever people want to sign up. But how can people, um, you know, go deeper with you as a new loan officer. Yeah, you know, you already mentioned it, you know, certainly jump into the mortgage coach. I'm sorry, the, the, without that too, um, the win by noon user mastermind group, just say you saw this call, I'll let you in. You don't have to be a win by noon user to get in there, but then you can kind of start seeing what the philosophies are. Um, the group coaching program is called the win by noon operating system. Cause I think you have to install an operating system in here on how you're going to operate every day. And it's just WBN for win by noon operating system.com. Um, right now we're on a wait list for the next group. The other, the, the group that just kicked off, it's a 12 week program with um, me and accountability, my system scripts processes. And uh, we've got a group going right now and we'll start a, a new group uh, a little bit later this year. And if you want to get you know, on that waiting list for that one, before that one sells out, that would be um, certainly a great opportunity. And so, um, so do that, people have to wait 12 weeks? Like if they, you know, like want to get on it now, it's going to be 12 weeks or could you have two groups going on at the same time? Oh, Dave, you know, I probably should have two groups going on because I haven't scheduled the second group yet, but I already have a waiting list for it. So I guess uh, with Dave's leadership, probably we'll start one another group sooner or uh, later because, you know, at this point, we're already a couple of weeks into the other one. I don't want people to, to start off too far behind. And, uh, and so, yeah, just would, would certainly- Based on demand, I guess. So when the list gets big enough, we'll figure it, you'll figure it out. Yeah, but right, you go to, yeah, go to wbnoperatingsystem.com. There's a Q&A video on what the program is about. And, you know, if that resonates with you, jump in. If not, it's got my email address, email address Todd at Win by Noon. Just reach out. I'm happy to answer any questions. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you got value from this call. Uh, Todd, thank you for your service to the mortgage industry. You are truly a gift to not only the industry, but to the mortgage coach community. Um, remember, guys, Win by Noon.
follow win by noon get a win by noon shirt go to the win by noon store you know we'll put links down below for all that and uh I'll see you tomorrow as we interview Todd, or not Todd, but um, Dan Rawich, nine o'clock Pacific tomorrow. We're going to get an update from Dan Rawich. That will also be in the YouTube channel, and we'll find out what rates are going to be doing in the next couple of days, couple of weeks, couple of months, and maybe throughout the entire year. Take care, everybody. All right. Thanks, Dave. It was a lot of fun. Thank you, Todd.